we're gonna go ahead and make a video on how to convert GFX files, RAF files, so that Capture One can actually read them. Uh, I have seen a lot of tutorials online, but everything is written on a blog for some reason, but nobody makes a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how how to go ahead and do that and as you can see I already have a folder selected with uh, RAF files which is the GFX and as soon as I click open I see absolutely nothing so this is the process that you have to do in order to do that I selected already my folder create a special folder for that desktop my raw files and a DNG so I select the folder where I have my RAF files and I'm going to put it on a different location which is DNG and I'm going to convert them. The way you do it is by using the Adobe DNG or Digital Negative Converter or DNC, I'm sorry, DNG which is a Digital Negative Converter and I'm going to go ahead and convert the files. 17 files, they're pretty big files. These, are, these ones are uncompressed for some reason, Capture One doesn't really like compressed files, even from my XT2. As soon as I use RAW files, or basically RAW files from the XT2, uncompressed, no problem. But as soon as I compress them, uh, Capture One has a fit and doesn't want to uh, read them. So while we wait for this one, I'm going to tell you the other program that we're going to use next. The other one is XF Editor. This is the one I use for Mac. There's other ones for PC. And basically, this is basically uh, edits, basically the type of camera that you have. As you can see, I created one that is IQ 350. I, I tried to use another one where it was IQ 250, which is in some of the tutorials, that's what they say, but it never worked for me. I tried it and I tried it and I couldn't get Capture One to read it. So the only thing basically that you do is, as you can see, I have the IQ350, which I, I configured it. And right here before I used to say uh, my, my uh, the make, which is Fujifilm and the camera mode, like GFX50S. In this case, I just change it. Phase one, IQ350, and that's all you do. Already converted all my files. I'm gonna go ahead and hit quit. And I'm gonna add the folder of the DNG. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to here. Now my files are in DNG. These are my RAF files. Convert it to DNG. I'm gonna hit open so that it opens all of them. You can do one file at a time or you can do the whole folder. So we're gonna do the folder and I'm gonna hit open. Once that's done, this is just some crappy DNG that was testing, light settings, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, right here where it says camera, it has Fujifilm GFX 50S. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select all my files, and I'm gonna go to my presets, and I'm gonna select my IQ350 preset. And as you can see, the only thing that it did, I renamed from uh, Fujifilm to phase one IQ350. Once you have done that, all the dots are selected, I'm gonna go ahead and hit process. This is something really simple. It's going to edit the files again from the name of the camera so that Capture One can actually read it. And we're just going to go ahead and wait here. I really don't know why nobody has created a video like this in prayer on YouTube. You only see blogs and kind of here and there information doing it. Kind of pisses me off that Capture One doesn't even support it. But whatever. I downloaded also. Uh, basically an ICC profile that on one of the blocks I had it to basically to make the files a little bit more neutral but look into that I don't I don't have it so now again it was selecting to my raw folder right this is my RAM files raw folder right here GFX right there I'm gonna select my DNG folder and once I do that right away I can see all of my RAF files convert it to DNG and I can import them all. Once I've done that, we're ready to go. Again, 
this is just some crap files as you can see i was just testing with the 63 different settings shutter speed f32 f4 and so on and so on you know again these are were taken up there at a sequoia national park and i was testing capabilities of the camera but the main thing about this is so that you can see how easy it is actually once you know how to get it to work and so on and again capture one is just a very powerful program and i really love uh, the functional functionality that it has and hopefully if anybody else with the gfx is out there just looking to use capture one with the same thing if the other tutorial has worked for you by using phrase 1 to 50 iq 250 and if it doesn't then this is the one for you iq 350 and then capture one will read it for you